So today we're in um, Flagstaff in Arizona. We drove here yesterday. It was like a 12 hour drive. We're just waiting for sunrise. And I'm here with Gemma and her brother. And it's just like the most insane sunrise ever. Yeah. So worth getting out of bed half an hour earlier for. Um, because the whole hour before the sun came up, it was just this crazy light show on the horizon and all through the sky, there's so many clouds around. Um, they were all just like this crazy orange purple on the backdrop of like blue sky. Oh, great way to start the day. So we just got back and we had some porridge and stuff. And now we're heading to Walnut Canyon. Um, there's some like ancient Indian ruins there, so it should be interesting to check out. Like thousands of years, I think. Just hiking up now in Wapatki. National Forest and we're on this like old volcano crater you have this crazy views of all the mountains around that mountain up there with the snow peak is the largest mountain in Arizona um, yeah it's like 12 12,600 feet So this is a blowhole. There's like a big cavern under the ground. So there's quite a bit of air getting driven around. Um, sort of like the cold air is flowing down and in and the warm air is flowing out. So you have this weird suction in the middle and then like air coming out on the sides. It's, it's quite a weird feeling. It's like a vacuum cleaner in the middle and then a hand dryer on the side. So all that volcanic matter stops there and this village is here so I wonder how much is under that volcanic debris that we're never going to find So we just had a good chat with the, um, the ranger volunteer um, who was back at the top of the monument and it turns out they, um, the volcano didn't actually over this village, the village came after the volcano, so um, what they think happened is the Indians were very inquisitive about this sort of slow volcanic flow, um, which took over, over a period of 30 years I think, and then um, they found that their crops were growing a lot better on the bottom of it because of all the, the minerals deposited by the, the ashes and stuff, so they decided to settle right on the bottom of it. Um, yeah, it's interesting. So we got back from Watapaki um, and we went to the shop quickly, uh, cooked up a load of sweet potatoes. We're going to watch Sunset on Sunset Crater with a picnic and we got lots of blankets as well. Um, yeah, I'm feeling pretty tired after all that driving yesterday and today. And as well we're at like 2000 meters elevation so that definitely plays a part but looking forward to this sunset because yesterday was just insane. So we literally pulled into the, the car park as the, the sun was setting on the crater. Unfortunately, we were like 10 minutes too late. Um, and there's the San Francisco peaks up there. We're all wrapped in blankets, having burritos, looking out at this view.